A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9 verses 27 to 31. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. As Jesus left the house, he was followed by two blind men crying out, "Mercy, son of David, mercy on us." When Jesus got home, the blind men went in with him. Jesus said to them, "Do you really believe I can do this?" They said, "Why? Yes, master." He touched their eyes and said, "Become what you believe." It happened. They saw. Then Jesus became very stern. "Don't let us all know how this happened." But they were hardly out of the door before they started blabbing it to everyone they met. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter nine, verses twenty-seven to thirty-one. How could the blind men catch up with Jesus unless Jesus slowed down for their sake? In all likelihood, Jesus heard their shouting, knew their plight, welcomed their desire, and wanted them to catch up with him. And when they did, he tested their faith and trust in him. In response to their proclamation of faith, Jesus healed them. No handicap of ours can prevent us from reaching Christ. He adjusts to our limitations and waits for us to catch up with him. And when we are struck down by life's tragedies or paralyzed by fear, he does not merely wait. He walks towards us and meets us where we are. These men were overwhelmed with their cure and their emotions overtook them Jesus instructed them to see that no one knows about this miraculous healing but their excitement could not be contained they did not know how else to express their joy other than by telling others that now they could see and this man named Jesus healed them a possible reason why Jesus told them not to tell others about him could be because he knew they did not fully understand who he was he knew that their testimony about him would fail to present his true identity they would present jesus as a miracle worker son of david the savior but what they did not know is that this savior saves through his sufferings humiliation torture and death often times We can also fall into the trap of misunderstanding who Jesus is. Indeed, we believe that Jesus is the savior. But the danger is that we want a God who acts according to our will and desires. We want a God who will heal us and free us of every earthly burden. But the God of Jesus is a different God. He taught us that we must take up our own crosses and follow him. That sufferings, pain and death are very much part of our life in faith. A false understanding of God would frustrate people when they are faced with struggles of life. Many people question God and give up faith in God when confronted with agonies in life. It is because of their wrong notion of God. Our faith in God shall not be because he performs miracles but because he has assured us heaven